But I just want to add one point is that if you take it as a premise, as these physicists explicitly do, some of them, that God doesn't exist, that's like a first principle, that God doesn't exist, then the discovery of fine-tuning is so amazing that the only way to explain it is to posit infinitely many universes where everything possible happens. And that's what's amazing how it shows just how powerful the argument from fine-tuning is. If you start with the premise God doesn't exist, then you end up with infinite universes with all the craziness of it. If on the other hand, you start with the possibility that maybe God does exist, well, then fine-tuning points directly to him. And the only other way to explain him is with an infinite multiverse. So the fact that physicists who deny God out of the gates are are jumping in and all putting their hanging their hat with an infinite multiverse is an indication of the strength of the argument of fine-tuning and how fine-tuning really does point to God if only you're willing to accept that as a possibility. That's fascinating, right? I, I really like that. You know, it's like you, you can easily shoehorn God in and not as a God of the gaps, like it's just the direct point to God. No. And like, if not, you have to concoct such a complex theory, which itself lends such complex problems that you have to spend decades and pro possibly never, you know, if, if ever figuring out. Right. It's